Hi friends, welcome to English Study Point. Today in this video lecture, I am going to discuss concept of interliterariness in comparative literature. Interliterariness means study of relationships and interactions between different literary texts, languages, cultures and traditions. This means this particular uh, concept try to tell us the ways in which different literary traditions influence each other and interact. It involves how literature from one language or culture influence and is influenced by literature from other languages or cultures. And also this particular concept tells us methods by which literary works or different authors and also uh, entire literary period or an era resonate with and uh, reflect or are informed by works from different cultures, languages or periods. Here I am giving illustrations in order to elaborate this concept of interliterariness. So this concept can be uh, observed in the influence of ancient Greek drama on modern theatre. The plays of renowned Greek playwrights which includes Sophocles, Euripides, Achilles are still performed uh, which means that the plays of renowned Greek playwrights have been performed and adapted in different languages and cultures over the centuries. An example of this can be Jean Paul Sartre's play The Flies and Eugene O'Neill's Mooning Becomes Electra draws inspiration from Orestia trilogy by Achilles. So these particular adaptations and reinterpretations highlight interliterariness which exists between ancient Greek drama and modern theatres. Another example of interliterariness can be influence of Homer's works, particularly Iliad and Odyssey have on later European literature. Example of this can be Virgil's Aeneid, which is in, produced in Rome. So this particular work engages with Homeric themes. And uh, this thing showcases us that how epic tales, which is inspired from Greek heroes, led the foundation for subsequent epic narratives across cultures. Then, Shakespeare's work, Hamlet can be studied through an interliterary lens. An example of this can be Scandinavian legend of Hamlet and the Spanish tragedy by Thomas Kidd is inspired from Shakespeare's works which showcase that how literary motives traverse cultural borders. During 19th century, Heku as a poetry form was introduced to the Western world and many poets began experimenting with concise form of poetry. The influence of Heku can be seen in the works of Western poets such as Ezra Pound, William Carlos Williams. So here we see that this exchange between Japanese and Western poetry represents interliterariness between existing between different cultural and linguistic traditions. Interliterariness can be explored through translation of literary works across languages. For example, Indian epic Mahabharata have been translated into numerous languages. So we see here that uh, translation holds importance in this concept of interliterariness because translation allows literature to be accessible to audience from different cultures, languages and ultimately it facilitates interaction and exchange and uh, by translating this epic, uh, grand epic like Mahabharata or Ramayana, translation makes it accessible to readers worldwide. Interliterariness can be seen in the influence of American literary movement uh, like Beat Generation movement have its impact on global literature. The works of Beat writers such as Jack Kerouac, Allen Ginsberg, William S. Burroughs inspired writers worldwide. For example, Beat movement tried to influence Latin American writers and in, in their works too we see that there is presence of themes of rebellion, counterculture and also they infused jazz elements in their works. 
This shows us that how through interliteraryness, literary spirit and idea move across different cultures and languages. It can be explored through transnational literary movements. For example, magic realism genre which emerged in Latin America with the works of writers like Gabriel Garcia Marquez, George Louis Borges had a significant influence on global literature. So uh, we see that uh, that this particular magic realism genre, elements of this genre are seen in the works of writers like Salman Rushdie, Angela Carter, Isabel Allende, etc. This concept of interliteraryness can also exist in different media forms. For example, works of William Shakespeare have been adapted in various forms including films, operas, ballads which transcends cultural and linguistic boundaries. Here we see that interliteraryness exists between Shakespeare plays and different art forms enabling audience from diverse backgrounds to engage with his works. Interliteraryness have an impact on post-colonial literature. Post-colonial writers such as Chinua Chibe, J.M. Koizzi draw inspiration from their cultural heritage of African oral storytelling and try to incorporate storytelling techniques into their written works. What we see that they try to blend oral tradition with written literature. So we see existence of this concept of uh, interliteraryness also occur in African tradition or African literature which indirectly impacts post-colonial literature. An epic poem by an Italian poet Dante Alighieri titled as Divine Comedy showcases interliteraryness because it took its reference from classical literature as well as philosophy and uh, this work brings together Christian theology along with Roman and Greek antecedents. God's Faust, this is a work by Goth, contained universal elements and this Faust legend is used or had been adapted across various cultural texts which shows that God's inspiration surpassed cultural confines influencing subsequent works worldwide. Works by authors like Dostoevsky, Tolstoy had profound uh, effects on French existentialists and American novelists of the 20th century. We see that in this case too, interliteraryness is evident uh, in their works in the form of theme, style, philosophical inquiries across national literature. Modernist literature uh, is ripe is also rife with interliteraryness. For example, T. S. Eliot's works, The Wasteland, is a fine example of it because in this work we see there is fusion of cultural, religious, and literary references that cross over time and geography. It tried to create a universal commentary on post World War One, and which is totally of disillusionment. Interliteraryness can also be seen in the cross-pollination of genres. For example, detective story which begin in the West with Boo's murder in the Rue Morgue but has been adapted by authors in Japan, Scandinavia and Africa. Each country infuses its local flavor while creating a de uh, detective story, unique detective story. Intertextuality within a single culture contribute to interliteraryness. For example, earlier Chinese poetry have an impact on modern Chinese literature. This presents a kind of dialogue which is happening between past and present, traditional and modern within the same literary continuum. Digital age has amplified, also amplified this concept of interliteraryness as the internet also allows instantaneous cross-cultural interaction. So, uh, for example, uh, meme culture, which also try to uh, take reference and also it try to reinvent elements from diverse media and literary sources. So, it in a way exemplifies living nature of interliterary exchanges, which still exist today. Then with this, this video lecture ends here. Hope this video lecture will help you in your UGC NET English Literature exams. Thank you.